Key. Hair flip. Yeah, I'm a badass bitch. I don't like it. Hair flip. Yeah. Oh my god. So you guys should be happy. Oh my goodness. Hair flip. But anyways, hair flip. Franklin insinuates that Beyonce's dad hit on her while she was in Destiny's Child. Old footage of former Destiny's Child singer Farrah Franklin has surfaced and is causing quite a stir. Franklin was a part of a 2015 reality show that never made it to TV called Last Chance Girl Group. The show was about former members of girl groups and the cast included Franklin, Keely Williams of 3LW and the Cheetah Girls, D. Woods of Danity Kane, and Melody Thornton of the Pussycat Dolls. In one clip, Franklin talked about Matthew and Beyonce. She said, which is Ferris quote, Unfortunately, my manager happened to be Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles. She continued, He propositioned me, invited me over to the hotel room to meet me and speak with him. Did Matthew try and sleep with you? Questions the producer, Farah. I haven't met too many people in my life that didn't like me. I'll just put it like that. Beyonce said to me, she was like, Welp, if you don't want to talk to my dad, you don't have to talk to me either. And I was like, I don't have to deal with this shit. And she was like, well, you can get the F out. Now, I don't want to get people confused, so I'm going to stop here real quick with a little commentary. When Beyonce and Farrah were having this conversation is when Farrah came over to then Beyonce and her, well, her mother and father's family home in Texas. While she was there, Farrah acted as if she did not want to talk to Matthew. Now, Beyonce had no idea of this alleged exchange between Matthew and Farrah, but Beyonce took it as... She, like, basically, you know, Farrah had a problem with her dad. You know, you have an attitude with my father. You're not talking to my father. That's my dad. If you're not talking to my dad, then you're not talking to me. So when Beyonce tells her to get the F out, she's telling her to get the F out of their home. She was in their family home disrespecting, basically, Beyonce's father. So Beyonce's like, girl, you're at my house. And on top of that, this is my mom and dad's house. And you're going to come in here and feel like you don't have to say anything to my dad or basically my mom or me. Like, you're mad disrespectful. Like, girl, get out of my house. You don't have to talk to my dad. You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to talk to my mom or my sister. Just get out. So most people in that situation, especially not knowing what allegedly happened prior, would think that, you know, Beyonce... Was right, and I agree with Beyonce. I mean, if I was as close to my father as she was at the time, and Farrah didn't want to talk to my dad, well, you don't need to talk to me either, you know? So, back to the commentary. In another clip, Farrah and Keely have a shady back and forth where Keely dragged her by naming her credentials, saying, I've been in two multi platinum successful groups and they weren't disbanded. Farrah responded, and I've been in the biggest one, and you're still the other. Keely responded, I know, but you weren't in it. Farrah then said, I was in it. I sold 19 million albums off Say My Name. Keely then responded, 
Did you, I mean, implying that Farrah didn't actually sing or contribute anything to the group? In 2000, Farrah Franklin joined Destiny's Child after members Latavia Robertson and Latoya Luckett were kicked out of the group. Six months later, she departed from the group. Small recap. So, Farrah states that Matthew propositioned her for sex when they had a meeting at a hotel. Now, most people that do meetings do not do them inside of hotel rooms. It's usually in like a lobby or one of the meeting rooms that hotels have. But um, Farrah states that she had this meeting, which Matthew agrees with the meeting. He does not agree with the things that Farrah stated that happened throughout the um, meeting. Of course, he's going to deny, deny, deny. But let's get into it. Let's break it down. So Farrah was the problem child in Destiny's Child after Latoya and Latavia left the group, which is weird because she replaced them. So you would think that they would have less problems with, uh, you know, a replacement that knows the rules and knows what's up and knows what to do from gate. So Farrah had got sick a couple times. She missed a few performances and it's OK. Life happens. Farrah is a human just like anybody else. People get sick. So Destiny's Child was overseas performing and the, you know, the main time, the, the big reason why they got into the big fight is that Destiny's Child was overseas performing and Farrah was sick, so she did not make the performance. Matthew was annoyed and he was fed up with her and he requested that once he made it back to the United States that they have a meeting. They did. They met up. They had this meeting, and in the process of this meeting is where Farrah says that Matthew propositioned her for sex. Do I believe Farrah? Yes. The reason I believe Farrah is because it's no, it's not a secret that Matthew has been cheating on Tina Knowles for a very long time. Even when Beyonce was first born, he was cheating on her. Her marriage was very tumultuous um, as you know time went along. So. Basically, Beyonce saved her parents' marriage the first time around by becoming a star. You know, that's really what pulled, you know, their family back together. So when Farrah says that he tried to sleep with her, once again, um, I believe her. Farrah is smart for saying no. And I believe Farrah said no to Matthew for two reasons. The first reason is because Farrah liked Tina Knowles. She never had a problem with her. She liked her. And she was also doing her wardrobe. She was doing her hair. Why would you want that type of energy around you? This woman is sitting here doing my hair, doing picking my clothes and putting clothes on me while I'm sleeping with her husband. It's just not a good look and it's very draining energy wise. And then on top of that, any smart person would know, especially if your manager is wanting sex from you in order for you to stay in this group because that's pretty much what it was he propositioned her for sex in order to stay around if he wants it now he's gonna want it later so this is something that you're going to have to continuously do you know rather you're sick or rather you're just having complications to where you can't make certain events or things in that nature in order to keep your spot you already know what you have to do and farah is fair skinned, beautiful eyes, and whatnot, just like Tina Knowles. So, you know, he's known to cheat on Tina with girls, especially back in the day, that looked a lot like her. Now, do Farah and Tina look like twins or double dangers or anything like that? Absolutely not. Farah's younger than Tina, you know, among other things. But it's the thought of it that's all it takes for Matthew to cheat because he's been doing it once again since Beyonce since before Beyonce was born and while Beyonce was born so once again I believe Farah. so let's get into the next part of this video Beyonce is a world famous star and not a lot of people know that she actually has a 10 year old half brother from her dad Matthew knows everybody knows of Beyonce's sister Solange but now a lot of people know that she actually has two younger siblings. Back in 2010, Matthew fathered a child with the actress Alexandra Wright while still married to Tina Knowles. After a paternity test, it was confirmed that Matthew did indeed father Nixon. This revelation rocked the Knowles family and Tina filed for divorce. In 2011, their marriage officially ended. While Matthew and Tina's marriage ended in divorce, Wright shared that Matthew was not present in Nixon's life 
as he does not meet up with his son, nor does he pay child support. The same story was echoed with Noel's third child, Coy. Coy was born in 2010 to Matthew Nose and Taquah Branscombe, who met while she was working as a dancer. At the time, she revealed that he treated me like I was the love of his life. Despite the circumstances, both children hope to be embraced by the Knowles family, especially their two older sisters. However, after Knowles found out that she was pregnant and gave birth, he decided to cut ties with them. While Tokoa admits sleeping with a married man was wrong, she's thankful that it gave her a beautiful daughter that is now her best friend. Her quote, Yes, I slept with a married man and it was wrong to do, but I have a beautiful daughter that came out of the situation. Matthew never acknowledged both Nixon and Coy. And while he's allegedly been ordered to pay child support, it is unclear whether or not he's done this for both children. Despite the circumstances, both children hope to be embraced by the Knowles family, especially once again, their older two sisters. A lot of people are torn between how Beyonce and Solange should treat the situation with two innocent children that did not ask to be here and that did nothing wrong. Now, on one hand, you have Beyonce and Solange who love their father and they cannot, you know, take care of the sins of their father. It's only for him to do. And then on the other side, you have their mother, you know, who they are absolutely infatuated with. And Tina has always been a great mother to Solange and Beyonce. So with Matthew cheating on Tina in their marriage and having two children on this woman, it is you know, of course, the children, Beyonce and Solange, are going to feel some type of way about that. Why would they want to have something to do with these children that were made out of infidelity? They were, you know, their parents were married. You know, why would we even have to worry about you having children on our mother when you're married to our mother? If anybody should have been pregnant again, it should have been Tina. They shouldn't have to worry about another woman coming forward with a child, especially that is that, you know, forcibly related to them. And then people want to kind of look at them as, you know, in distaste because they don't want a relationship. Well, would you, you know, if you had two parents that were married for 33 years and your father decides to cheat on your mother and have two outside children when for so long, over 30 years, pretty much, it's just been you and your sister. And now here comes these other children. You know, and not only that, it's not like their parents got divorced and Matthew decided to go have his own children after the marriage. I think that would have been a little different for Beyonce and Solange's relationship with these children. But you can't force these women to be around, you know, basically products of, you know, infidelity is what they are. They're a constant reminder why their family is no longer together. You know, if those children weren't born, I still think that Tina and, you know, Matthew might still be together. It's a high probability, but, you know, some people's, you know, I'm done. I got to walk away, it, especially when you're dealing with a serial cheater is when they have children or when they bring you back a disease or something. That's when, you know, you're just I'm done. You know, I'm at my wit's end, you know, with this situation. So I feel for both people. I feel for their children because they have extremely successful sisters, you know, beautiful sisters that they would love to get to know. And then I feel for Beyonce and Solange because they should have never been put into this situation. So at the end of the day, Matthew is the all around bad guy. There were rumors circulating around that Beyonce's father had stole money from Beyonce. And that is the reason that Matthew stopped managing Beyonce and Beyonce became her own manager. I would like to call BS on that because it's not a coincidence that the same year that the divorce finalized between Matthew Knowles and Tina Knowles is the same year that Beyonce fired Matthew as her manager. So let's get into that. When Beyonce was just two months old, the Telegraph notes, Knowles, Beyonce's father, left Tina for the first time, but not the last. In 2009, while still married to Tina, he became a father when actress Alexandra Wright gave birth to a child. 
Within a year, a paternity suit would establish that Knowles was the father. Tina filed for divorce. Matthew Knowles' impact can be heard in much of Beyonce's music, the most obvious being Daddy Lessons from the Lemonade album, where the lyrics explain that her dad taught her to be tough and not to trust men like him. In the video for the song, there are clips of Matthew playing with Beyonce's daughter, Blue. Beyonce officially announced that she was no longer being managed by her father in March 2011, the same year her parents finalized their divorce. Two years after the divorce, Matthew Knowles was married to former model Gina Charmaine Avery. Unfortunately, Beyonce and Solange had previous engagements, which made it impossible for them to attend the wedding, he explained Matthew to U.S. Magazine. Once again, I'm going to have to call BS. Now, there's no way that Beyonce and Solange both cannot make Matthew's wedding. They didn't go to Matthew's wedding because they did not want to support the marriage. They wanted no dealings with it. You can't sit here and destroy our mother's life and then decide to move on with another woman after you had did that while you were married and want us to come and wish you well in this marriage when you can't even do the first one right. So why would they want anything to do with that? If Beyonce and Solange don't want anything to do with the kids, have never met the kids, talked to the kids, walked past the kids or anything like that, why would they want anything to do with another woman that you are bringing into your life, especially when you didn't exit well? You know, it's a lot of men out here that don't have a problem entering a woman in their lives, but they have the hardest problem coming to recollection or coming to terms with the bad things that they did when a woman is exiting. So that is the problem. And this is another sure sign that Beyonce and her father have a lot of problems with one another. Beyonce does not really have a relationship with Matthew. And as we go on throughout this video, I'm going to show you more and more of that. Beyonce tries to stay copacetic and so does Matthew. Matthew always tries to make it seem as if he still has a relationship with Beyonce and Solange. Now with Solange, his relationship is a little better. And I think it's because she, you know, she's the, the baby girl, you know, so you know, the, the daddy's little girl. And when it comes to Beyonce, I feel that that's what Beyonce was and to her dad did what he did to her mom. I feel that Beyonce has never gotten over it. Now, Solange, I feel that, you know, day by day, but with Beyonce, I still think it cuts deep, even still to this day of what Matthew did to the Knowles family. Now let's get into what Tina has to say about her divorce with Matthew. Opportunity sometimes can be not the best thing because when you need to stop and take care of yourself. Uh, again, I was just hard headed, just kept going, I kept doing. And um, and then one day my world just exploded. And I knew that I had to get a divorce. And at 58 years old, that's a very difficult thing. At any age, <coughs> but at 58, it's impossible. Um, you know, it does something to your whole whole psyche, your whole mm -hmm. self-esteem, because I have been married for 33 years. I have never, I mean, you know, I have known anything else. And, I mean, you guys know my story. My, my family is quite intertwined. <laughs> um, so it was very difficult to untangle or detangle myself from it, but I knew that I didn't have a choice but to do that. Um, I did, but it was a very hard time. It was a very hard time, and I was very sad. And the amazing thing is that, you know, when, people, when you look at someone else, you look at them and you say, oh, they're attractive, and you know, they, they got a lot of good stuff going for them, and they have no right to have low self-esteem. They have no right to feel sorry for themselves. Well, it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what you've done what you look like, what you have, you're, you know, you're a person, you're a human being. And when something strikes you like that, it takes the breath out of you. And, uh, you know, and my fight came back. You know, after a while, I let myself feel sorry for myself for a minute, and then I said, you know, I'm so blessed to have all the opportunities that I have, and I, I have the right to, to feel sorry. I started telling myself this, and I made a plan. You know, I, I said, what do you want, Tina? Well, I want some time off. So I took the time off. 
it gave me the courage to take the time off. Um, I started reading my art books. I love art, but I had never had the time. I started traveling. I would travel with my daughter, but not to work. I'd say, no, I'm not working. I had my girlfriend who made me laugh. I said for her, she would come and, and come on the road with me because she's as crazy as I don't know what. <laughs> and we would go to museums and we would eat lunch and we would laugh. And, you know, I had just really forgotten how to live. I had just lost all of myself. So I realize now that part of the low self-esteem was, was, yes, being 58 and having to start all over again. The other part was just that I had lost myself, that I was so busy working and going and taking care of everybody else that I just forgot about Tina. And uh, so I became, I would tell my kids, you know what, I, you can call me and I'll be there if it's really something important, but otherwise I'm taking care of Tina. This is my selfish moment. To show you even more proof to why I feel that Beyonce, until Tina and Matthew have a better relationship with one another, I think that Beyonce doesn't really want anything to do with Matthew. In this next clip, you're going to hear Tina state how Solange had to trick her to get her and Matthew into the same room. Also, in the same interview, you can tell that Tina is trying to save face because she states that she was tricked. And she states that it was okay that her and her ex-husband were in the same room. Well, Tina, I'm going to have to call BS because if it wasn't a big deal for you and Matthew to be in the same room, why did Solange have to trick you? Let's get into this next clip. All this wonderful sisterhood here. And you have experience in raising women who end up on this carpet tonight. So what do you think are some of the attributes that require you to be recognized at an event like this tonight? Um, I think hard work, obviously. Um, just integrity um, and just staying grounded. I mean, I think that's really important because you can be the biggest, best talent in the world, but it's a lot of ingredients that goes in to uh, work ethic, uh, you know, being decent to people, treating them like you want to be treated. I think those things are just as important. I love that. You know, what, you know the, the industry has changed a lot since, you know, you first started with, you know, the, your daughters coming into the, the thing, but what's the most, the thing, the thing that you've seen the most change, that you're most happy to see, wow, I'm glad that's not like that anymore? Well, that it's finally recognized that we can sell movies and yes. we can sell magazines and that the media, we've always known it, but it's nice to see that someone else is recognizing that. Right. Yeah. You know, you've raised uh, three young women, actually. Yes. We, we don't we don't want to forget the third, but what is something that you feel like they teach you now? Before you were teach teaching me? them, now, now what are they teaching you? You know, they have taught me to be free. Mm. And that's really important because I dedicated my li life to kind of being behind the scenes and making sure that they were okay. Right. And now, as they got to be adults, they were very adamant about, about me living life and not being so uptight and so shy. Right. And yeah, so they've helped me come out of my shell. You know, they're all very free, but Solange in particular, she is just out there and she does things in a way that she changes culture. Yes, she does. And I feel like a lot of times it's not the most comfortable thing to do oh, because. Absolutely, she takes a lot of heat for it. Absolutely, you know, definitely. And, and one of the things she did was she made sure that she brought you and her father back into the same room yes. after, you know, maybe absolutely. some tumultuous times. Yes. So, what's something about that that you could appreciate? Well, I could appreciate, um, you know, of course, there's always a certain level of anxiety about reconnecting with somebody after a divorce and you haven't seen them, but I really appreciate her bringing us together because first and foremost, we're parents and we're family. So that was really good. She tricked us, but she got us there. How did she trick you? <laughs> well, she just told me to come down and do this thing and she didn't tell me her dad was going to be there, which was fine. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Right, thank you. Thank you. 17th, 1971 in Montreal, Quebec. Filmography, Wright started acting in 1989 with the television movie Third Degree Burn. Her role in the film was uncredited. A decade later, Wright appeared in the television show Jagger's Petty Officer Sulzi in the Psychic Warrior episode. She switched to film acting for Love Beat the Hell Out of Me, a 2000 drama. In 2001, 
Wright appeared in Baby Boy, a drama starring DeRay's Gibson, Taraji P. Henson, Snoop Doggy Dog and Omar Gooding. Wright's final two roles were television shows, including the My 15 Minutes episode of Scrubs in 2001, and the Young and the Meatless episode of Girls Club in 2002. Relationship with Knowles, in the late 2000s, Wright and Matthew Knowles began an 18-month affair in which Wright ended up getting pregnant. When her son Nixon Knowles was born, paternity tests confirmed Knowles was the father, making Nixon half-brother of Beyonce and Selang Knowles. On November 11, 2009, Tina Knowles filed for divorce from her husband, citing Matthew's affair with Wright. Wright publicly apologized to Tina, Beyonce and Selang for the pain she has contributed in their lives. Since the breakup with Knowles, Wright has become engaged to celebrity fit club trainer Harvey Walden for other, Wright has cited in the books The A to Z of African American Cinema and The Historical Dictionary of African American Cinema, both written by S. Torriano Berry and Vanice T. Berry. She is also mentioned in Beyonce, Entertainer by Sonia Kimball Ellis. Wright and her son currently live outside of Los Angeles, California. References now, allegedly, Alexandra had to move into a trailer park with her family because she cannot afford to provide for herself nor her child. She states that if Matthew helped her, that she wouldn't necessarily be in this predicament. Alexandra, sorry, I'm going to have to call BS. You were sleeping with a known public world-renowned manager that was married. You knew better. You decided to continue to sleep with him. You got pregnant and you thought you got your meal ticket. I'm going to put it to you like this, Alexandra. Whether you didn't meet him and didn't have a child with him or not, it sounds like you were going to be in the same boat. It sounds like you were going to be broke either way. It sounds more so as if you used him and thought that once again, you found your meal ticket, that you got somebody with an unlimited income that was going to provide for you and you looked at that child before things got rough as your way out your way out of whatever bad financial situation that you were in i don't feel sorry for alexandra i do feel sorry for her son because i do feel that he should be provided and accustomed to a certain life but i don't feel like it's matthew's responsibility to make sure that she lived in a mansion with you know four different cars and you know the best schools and all of this being a parent is 50 50 especially when you are not together so with you and Matthew never fully being in a serious, committed relationship, him telling you that you're in one is different from being in one. If somebody tells you they love you, it's the difference from when they show you that they love you. So once again, Alexandra, I don't feel sorry for you. Um, it's called karma. Uh, you get what you get. You were knowingly sleeping with a married man. You knowingly tried to get pregnant by that man. It worked. What didn't work? is the lifestyle you thought that that baby was going to come with. On to the next. The mother of Matthew Knowles' alleged love child is a close friend of his daughter, Solange. But Solange claims she had no idea of the affair. Her father, Matthew Knowles, has been hit with another paternity suit. And this time, the allegations will hit close to home for Solange. The 28-year-old reportedly is friends with Taqua Branscombe, who claims Matthew followed her child in 2010. The 30-year-old lingerie model turned estate agent met Solange through a stylist in 2008, reports TMZ. The pair went out to clubs and bars together in Houston, Texas on numerous occasions. According to the website, Matthew knew Branscombe was friends with his daughter, while Solange reportedly had no idea that the two were having an affair. According to BuzzFeed, Branscombe alleges Matthew fathered a female child born in Harris County, Texas, and is demanding he takes a DNA test. She is also going after the multimillionaire for child support and money for her attorney fees. Matthew certainly has previous form. After he was forced to admit in 2010 he was the father of actress Alexandra Wright's son, a development which allegedly led to his divorce from wife Tina after 31 years of marriage, 
Earlier this year, he succeeded in getting his child support payment for his son slashed due to dwindling income. Despite earning millions as his daughter's manager, the legal maneuver came as it emerged. He skipped yet another month of payments to Alexandra Wright, the mother of his four-year-old son, Nixon. Matthew claimed in court he pulled $127,000 in 2013, a far cry from the $3 million a year he earned when he guided his superstar child's career. He also claimed that the income is vastly reduced. He still has sizable expenses of $51,000 a month, and he is having to liquidate assets to make up the short fall. A family court judge decided to reduce his child support to $2,485 a month. TMZ later said he ended up convincing the judge he should be paying $2,485 all along and was giving him credit for the overpayment meaning that he would not have to give her money for three years. Though she is fighting the ruling, according to child support records, he owed $44,249.32 as of March 1st, which caused the state of California to prepare a preparing to file contempt charges. So do you believe that Solange knew that her father was having an affair with her really good friend and not only were they having an affair she had a baby by her and not only that this is after her mother is already has filed i should say for divorce from her father and the divorce was finalized so when he was sleeping with her to have the baby that was still after the marriage but he was also sleeping with her during his marriage so it makes people side eye Solange. You know, a lot of people are starting to think like, okay, well, Solange, did you hook your dad up with this girl? And what people, what I should say made it easy for people to state that that wasn't the truth is because her dad was still technically married when he was dealing with her. So people are just like, oh, well, no, you know, she has loyalty to her mother, Tina. She would never do that. But... The baby was not born until after the divorce. So it's like, did Solange and her dad ever hang out with this girl together? And Matthew was fully aware that she was Solange's friend. So I will let you guys decide. What do you think? Do you think that Solange knew? I mean, Solange and her relationship with her father did, you know, go through its rough roads, especially during the divorce and before the divorce. But Solange always kept a close relationship with her father. So it is technically possible that Solange knew what was going on. Did she say anything? Probably not. But did she know? I think she did. Let's get into Matthew's children that he won't claim. Coy Knowles and Nixon Knowles. Let's start here with Coy. Coy was born in Houston, Texas on July 3rd, 2010, just like her big half-sister Beyonce and Solange Knowles. She is often identified as Matthew Knowles' daughter. Blue Ivy, Sir, and Rumi Carter is the nieces and nephews of this young lady. Unfortunately, when she was born, her father was still married to Tina Knowles. If you didn't know, Koi is gorgeous. And on top of her being gorgeous, she also has her own YouTube channel. Let's get a little bit into this beautiful young lady's channel. So, hi guys, welcome back to Toys with Koi. And today, we are going to making slime. And this is my third time making slime. So after this video, please subscribe, give me a like on this video, and give me good comments. So let's just snap into making more slime. And today, they just brought out some new purple and this glue. And then I have some more bottles of clear glue and, and regular amps glue. So let's just get on to the video. Okay, so first we are going to put our glue in there. Today I'm just going to put these two. And then on another video, I'll do this one and this one. So this is part two of the slimes. Okay, so let's get on to the video. So I'm going to see how... 
So if you have any nieces or nephews or kids or anybody that enjoys slime and toys and things like that, make sure you go check out Toys with Koi. My younger daughter is a big fan of hers. Also did a YouTube tutorial slime video with her. So um, it's really weird because that's how I found her. I had no idea of her existence until my daughter told me about her channel so um well i was came in saw her watching i'm like who's that you know she's like oh it's this girl named koi and once i did research about a year or two later i found out that this is beyonce's half sister so it's like what do you know a very small world that we live in but um i told you in this video that we were going to be going through reasons to why beyonce and her father does not have a relationship if it's your daughter's birthday don't you get to call her don't you get to text her? Doesn't she answer your calls? Let's get into Beyonce not doing that. For Matthew. Good morning, Beyonce. It's September 4th. God, I can remember the day you were born. My first time seeing a baby born. I was actually in the room. Uh, this is your city. Your city loves you. But more importantly, more importantly, I love you. I love you with all my heart. I'm so proud of you. I just wanted to tell you happy birthday. So you see how emotional Matthew gets? You see how he starts to cry, how upset he is that he can't even get his own daughter on the phone to wish her a happy birthday. It's mighty weird that the children that he claims don't really want much to do with him, but the children that he don't want and does not claim want everything to do with him. Such a crazy world that we live in. But once again, Matthew's crying in this clip that we just watched as if he and Beyonce do not speak at all. You couldn't even get the woman on the phone to tell her happy birthday. Why would she not be expecting her parents call on a day as so important as her birthday? So once again, Matthew, I call B. S. You and Beyonce do not have a relationship because you don't have one with Beyonce's mother. In order to fix the relationship with Beyonce, you got to start with who created her, her mom, Tina. And Matthew does not do that. Matthew is one of those people that likes to push things under the rug as if they don't exist. They don't exist because he does not want to deal with them. So if he wants Beyonce back, he knows the only way of going about it, which is through her mother so make sure you guys like and subscribe i hope you enjoyed the video we will be dropping part two tomorrow i love you guys and until the next video bye